Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I know it's been forever uh, since I posted the last video. It has been a hectic, hectic um, year. Uh, it's been a lot going on, a lot of good things, but been busy. And uh, today actually what I wanted to talk about is our golden doodle, Nala. She's a golden doodle, um, part golden retriever, part poodle. She is due to um, have puppies in the next couple of days. So uh, we bred her with a AKC champion uh, standard poodle. So she is going to have some really cute puppies, uh, which hopefully are going to be very minimal shedding and hypoallergenic. And I just wanted to show you uh, my setup for um, her upcoming whelp, whelping and um, her puppies. So we have decided, my husband and I, that we are going to initially um, keep her here with us in our bedroom um, just to kind of minimize traffic, minimize exposure, uh, keep them warm, and um, just uh, keep them in a quiet, warm, undisturbed area. Um, so here is the whelping box. This is actually just a, a square pool that I ordered on Amazon. I like it because it's uh, very roomy, easy to clean. So this is where she will be whelping. And this is where we're gonna keep her puppies uh, for the first few weeks. Um, I have her bed here just because I wanted her to get used to being in the whelping box. And she has gotten used to it. She sleeps here at night. She's very comfortable there. Um, so as you can see, I kind of lined the bottom with uh, disposable uh, dog pads, like the wee-wee pads. And here, this is, um, I prepared this little area in the little laundry basket with a heating pad underneath. So that's where we're gonna keep the puppies, um, you know, at, when she is whelping. Um, once she has the puppy and we clean up, you know, clean it up and warm it, dry it up and all that and while she's getting prepared to have her next puppy we're going to keep them in here just to keep them warm and uh, comfortable and they'll be beside her so she'll be fine and then once she's completely done with um with whelping and all her puppies are born um then we'll move them from here to the whelping box um, so they can be with her and i'll move the heating pad in this area as well so that if they get cold you know they can uh, they can all be on the little heating pad. So this heating pad, I got it on Amazon as well. All right. And here, um, actually on my dresser, this is where I set up everything. And um, this is a um, whelping kit that I got on Amazon. Um, it's a whelping kit for 12 puppies. So we're not sure. We did an x-ray last week and the doctor said at least five or six is what he can see on the, on the um, x-ray but he said there might be some more there so we're prepared and so as you can see we have um, iodine pads these will be used for you know when the umbilical cords are cut um, we will use these as uh, antiseptic and then um, I got these colorful um, puppy ID collars so I have two different kinds so we'll see which one works better you know, just want to make sure they're soft enough and they're not going to be rubbing into their um, their little necks. So we'll see what works. And then we have this uh, suction bulb. This is going to be used to suction out the uh, um, mucus from their from their mouths and their nose when they're born. All right. This is some like a wrap for her tail. This is used for dogs who have long tails uh, during whelping. As you can see, she has a nice long tail. So you just wrap it around her tail so it doesn't get all wet and dirty from all the, you know, discharge during whelping. Um, this is 12 pairs of gloves, obviously um, one pair for each puppy that will be born. There's a uh, hemostat, all right, and surgical scissors that are included. This is going to be used if we need to help her with uh, cutting the cord. This is a uh, floss with n no wax. Uh, disposable towels, these are going to be you know, to catch the puppy and clean it up and dry it up. And these are some disposable um, delivery pads, they call it's like wee-wee pads, pretty much. Um, I have a scale right here. We'll be weighing each puppy when they're born and every day after that. 
have some Oracal Plus, all right, and this will be given to her after the first puppy's born, um, calcium. It'll help her settle down and help her with uterine contractions just to kind of get the process going a little faster. Um, I just ordered this little emergency feeding kit just in case if, you know, one or, one or two of the puppies are not able to latch on to her nipple and they need a little bit of extra supplementation. I just got one of these and we'll see. I mean, if I need to order more then I will, but I'm keeping my finger crossed, fingers crossed and um, hoping that we won't need that and hoping that all the puppies will be strong enough to, um, you know, to feed naturally um, from the mom. And these are just some, uh, um, just some paperwork that I got with the, um, with the kids. And it's pretty much just going to have <clears throat> information on each puppy that's born. Okay, so here we'll put puppy number one, puppy number two as they're being born, the gender, the time they were born, the color, mm, um, description of the bay, of the puppy, their weight, and um, I guess this is just good to have once the you know once the pups go to their forever homes, um, just some information for the new owners, um, and we will be keeping track of their weights every day, just to make sure that they're. Um, gaining weight and um, everything is going well all right and uh, here actually this is what I have as the lining on in her whelping box I got these at PetSmart they're actually on sale so I got a good deal I got the extra large ones they have like the jumbo ones as well but I think these are big enough for its purpose and um, <clears throat> excuse me so yeah if you could see these these are the types that turn the liquid into a gel. Okay, so they're odor neutralizing, leak proof, it has adhesive tabs um, on the bottom. So I hope that this will do the trick and keeping things clean. Of course, we will be cleaning the whelping pad every single day after the puppies are born. Just kind of making sure everything is you know, clean and sanitized and um, keeping those puppies as safe and healthy as possible. So that is our setup for whelping. And here she is, Nala, hello. Here she is, our big mama. And she is on day 62 today. So tomorrow is her due date. So hopefully we'll see some action soon. She has been contracting here and there um but nothing really strong <clears throat> excuse me just some light contractions here and there she did i believe she lost her mucus plug already because we saw like a very clear gelatin type of um mucus discharge so we'll see right nala she's doing very well um so hopefully whelping will be a piece of cake for her and be easy and smooth. And I will keep you guys posted. We will be filming um, the whelping process. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was a little bit, um, a little informational for you and will be helpful for you in the future when you're gonna be whelping your pups. And um, if there's any suggestions actually that you can make for me, I would appreciate it. You can put them in the comment box below. Uh, this is our first litter. This is our first breeding experience. Um, and the reason we decided to breed her actually was because we love her so much and her temperament is just so amazing. She's an amazing family dog. She's very easy. She was very easy to train. Um, just a very smart, very, um, very respectful dog. <laughs> uh, loves the kids, loves the family. She's just, um, she's amazing. So we were thinking of adding um, another puppy to the family, uh, mostly, you know, to be uh, a friend for her, a companion. But I figured I would rather um, just have one of her own puppies. And uh, of course, my daughter and son-in-law would like to have one of her puppies as well. So we're kind of keeping it in the family. Um, Nala. Hey, girl. It's a sweet girl. So, yeah. 
she's awesome and we can't wait to see her new puppies and uh have some fun with them and by the way just wanted to mention this is um what i have here is just some uh washable pads that i can use under them afterwards and these are just some old like uh, bed sheets um cotton or flannel and we have some old towels here that we can use later on um, if needed uh, under the puppies and under her but mostly during the whelping process i'm going to use everything disposable so that you know as soon as she has this one puppy we clean her up clean the puppy up throw that in the garbage put a brand new padding um, brand new towel for the next puppy and so on and so forth so um I think we're ready. It's just a matter of time now before she decides to go into labor. All right. So um, we'll see you guys uh, hopefully soon. And we'll keep you updated.